Yo, what up, guys? Gablinu back with another video. This is for a necromancer. Well, let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm a Breton, as usual. It's my favorite race. You can be Dark Elf. You can be whatever the hell you want. I just like Breton the most. Attributes. Mundus the Lover. Food is Jules or Orzoga's Bear Haunch. Orzoga's is better, but just for the sake of this video... Jules is what I put on, so you can kind of get the, an idea. Stage 3 vamp, as always. Moving on to the gear. For our monster gear, we're running Balorgs. Now, I'm running too heavy here just because of how I have my gear set up. But optimally, if you're running, whether it's too heavy or whatever, your heavy should be a reinforced trait. Um, that being said, optional monster gear. Blood spawn. Jalnar's. Really like Kjalnar's a lot. It's been kind of like a really fun monster set I've been using lately. And it hits pretty decent overall, so. Trainee, reinforced chest. And for our front bar set, we're running Druggerkin. Uh, I will show you another set too that I am using that uh, fits really well at this build. And I, Druggerkin, I will say, is the more higher damage output option, but the other set um, is the higher... Uh, Resource sustain and survivability output. End pin on the belt, Druggerkin. With two infused jewelry, with weapon and spell damage and chance. We're running two maces, one Nernhund, one charged. I will say this charged has a weapon damage enchant. Uh, you could change that to a flame or whatever. It's just when I was testing it, I had originally put poisons on the back bar. And so since I'm not running the poisons there anymore, I just haven't changed this over yet. But in any case, if you don't run poisons, you can still keep this on the, um, the glyph if you want, but really up to you. Two maces, one nor uh, nerned, one charged, as I said. Super great set. On top of Necro's passive that buff their damage over time, stacking this flat damage done is super nice for dots because you're mixing best of both worlds. You're increasing that base damage done stat and then taking the percentage of that now higher uh, damage done, which just ultimately makes your buffs that buff your damage over time better. So back bar set, Essence Thief. Love this set. I've used it so many times through DK, Templar. I mean, so many different classes. Um, it's a really great set. I've yet to use it on Necro until now. And I will say I really like it with this setup because we gain that extra 10% damage done when we pick up the little green orb after we do a light attack. Super, super great set. Moving on to the mythic, we're running Saint and Seducer. It should come to no surprise. However, there is other options. Uh, you can run Sea Serpents or Torque. I've tried the four options you see, Pale Order and Malakath, Sea Serpents, Torque. Torque by far gave the best sustain option. I like Sea Serpents, however, I will say um, uh, it's just I'd rather just not take any negative effects and just have uh, Saint and Seducer and wait a little bit and time my burst. In any case, though, I did want to show you the optional front bar set. And this is the better survivability option. It is Dragon's Appetite. And this is how it would look on our bar. Now, since Essence Thief is medium, technically what would be the best thing here is to run your Dragon's Appetite piece heavy on the legs reinforced and then just get an Essence Thief medium belt. I will say the only reason I'm running it like this is because ease of use. I'm literally, this is just easy for me to go and swap between Druggerkin and Dragon's Appetite, I literally only change the same pieces. But if you want to go 100% optimized, go your Essence Thief piece here and your Dragon's Appetite heavy piece here if you decide you like Dragon's Appetite more. Now, with two lines of Stan Recove and we get a nice burst heal off of this after we gain those 10 stacks on top of the stamina and health we get from Essence Thief, it's just such a great combo. There's, I mean, I haven't really seen anything 
uh, like this before on Necro, but man, it's really fun and it's just really solid. It makes Necro feel actually really strong. Um, I was wrecking in BGs. I haven't got to do a lot of open world with this yet just because PvP has been kind of dead and I've been super busy with work, but all in all, this is just a super awesome and fun setup that I've just really enjoyed so far. It's kind of made Necro uh, a lot more fun since the new patch, but in any case, let's go ahead and move on to the skills. First, we're running Rending Slashes. Basic, dual wield, spammable, gives us hemorrhaging, and we apply a 30% movement speed debuff. Blast Bones, Major Defile, helps us with our burst a lot. Pretty much our main burst on the build. Skeletal Archer for the Brutality and Sorcery buff. This does a lot of damage when we have Dragon's Appetite, Essence Thief, or Druggerkin Essence Thief going because not only is this a damage over time and we gain the uh, Necro damage over time passive. Let me see where it is. I believe it's 10 or 15%. Yeah, it's 10% already. Then as it goes, each uh, attack is 15% more damage. And then after that, we gain the 10% from Essence Thief. But on top of that, we're also increasing the base damage of this by 220 or 330, depending on what set you're using. So overall, this becomes a really good skill for us on our bar and Necro. So it's awesome to use in class Necro skills. Mystic Siphon is going to give us Prophecy and Savagery. It's going to give us a bunch of sustain whenever we're siphoning a corpse. It's also going to give us 3% damage done. Really great skill. The crappy thing I will say about this is that if you're trying to kite something, once this tether goes through like a wall, it breaks. I wish they'd change that because it makes tethers basically useless, I feel like, unless you're like in an open field. And then when you're in an open field, you're just going to get demolished anyways. So I really wish they'd kind of change that. But in any case, moving on. Quick Cloak for our next skill. I always really liked Quick Cloak. Just a personal preference of mine. You don't have to run it. You could run Race Against Time if you want. But I just like Quick Cloak. It's going to deal a little bit of damage for us. It's going to proc our enchants for us. It's also going to give us major evasion. So it's not a whole lot to hate there about it. For the ulti, Dawnbreaker. Moving on to the back bar. We're running Elemental Susceptibility. It's going to be our major breach. We're also going to proc the magic status effects. Structured Entropy. Now, this is kind of a flex spot, but I really like it since we're kind of going in with the damage over time effects. This is kind of a mix between a dot and a heal that we get, and it pairs really nicely with a couple of our other heals that we have, so we can just kind of proc a little bit more healing over time. So, for our burst heal, Healing Soul. It's way better than the class one from um, Necro, Resistant Flesh. It just kind of sucks because it gives you minor defile. However, the uh, spell and physical resistance it grants you is pretty fucking nice. But, I mean, I'd rather take the 600 magic and stamina that we have with here, uh, Druid's Resurgence, and then my uh, Major Vitality. I think it's just overall better. Intensive Mender is our next one. You could take the other morph that does the damage mitigation. I just really like this one. I think it's a really good healing over time. And it just pairs uh, nicely with Structured Entropy. And then Summoner's Armor. Summoner's armor. Uh, it's going to give us both Major and Minor Resolve. It's going to give us 15% cost reduction on Blast Bones, Mage, and Mender. So pretty solid overall. And for the back bar ulti, you could go Goliath. Or you could go Colossus. I've used both. I mean, I mostly use Dawnbreaker on the front bar. But back bar, you could really use anything in the Necro kit. Even reanimate. This is kind of slept on, to be honest. Spawn three Blast Bones and just destroy, motherfucker. In any case, let's go ahead and move to the CP. We're running Resilience as always. Fighting Finesse as always. Deadly Aim and Force of Nature. Now, I will say you could probably take a lot of these uh, damage only ones and you could throw a duelist rebuff 
in place of either force force of nature or deadly aim and be fine if you feel you're a little squishy however in uh, bgs i was just running full-on damage so uh you could really run two defense and two offense moving on to red tree sustained by suffering pain's refuge survival instincts and for the flex spot i'm running fortified now the reason i am running fortified is like i said mostly just because it is a flex spot for me i always have kind of one spot in the red tree that i move around just depending on what i'm running when i'm running my heavy balorgs helms i don't run fortified when i'm running kyalnars i do because i only have medium uh helmets and shoulders and on top of that i'm not running the dragon's appetite heavy legs i'm running essence thief medium legs so this just kind of is a little bit of unoptimized but it's just for me this is you know you don't it, this build is kind of a mix between optimized and um more so ease of use for me but like i said i did give you the optimal version or told you rather the optimal version so that you can make those changes if you want to i just didn't really feel like spending the extra transmutes and whatnot and crafting materials just to gain you know a little bit more of an edge so i just added fortified here you can go peace of mind you can go celerity as always but for me this has just kind of been a flex spot for me so you know it is what it is but uh yeah that's uh, pretty much it for the build um i will say i've had a lot of fun on it so far and i think we're probably gonna do either 2h arc a sork or dk next um, probably try and do another upload this weekend and really just keep putting out some uh, solid content for you guys in any case I appreciate you guys watching the video and as always we will see you in the next one